Okay, so probably the meeting is now is beginning. Okay, so uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is Bartosz Lewandowicz uh, and I'm in charge of uh, business development of our uh, flagship system, uh, which is uh, Hubert system. Uh, I'm very pleased to warmly welcome all attendees uh, to our today's webinar. Before uh, before we get started, let me uh, let me make a few organizational uh, points. <clears throat> uh, as you probably know, uh, we can neither see nor hear you. So if you have any questions. Uh, please uh, type your questions uh, using the chat panel, uh, which you can see on the right side of the screen. And that means uh, I hope you can you can see that. Uh, of course, if you need any more information, more detailed information, or you want to have an individual presentation, you can always reach us using uh, telephone, email, uh, our social media profiles. And this uh, contact details you can also uh, see on the screen. Our meeting is divided into two parts. Uh, first, we would like to present a concept and possible scenarios of how media press enhanced uh, sport information service can become a foundation of a sports service. Uh, maybe you are going to build to build or develop uh, your existing solutions. Um, then we will glance at a live system and show what sports information we can aggregate and merge it with uh, EPG metadata. Uh, this part will be uh, presented by Wojciech Musiał, uh, who is an expert on sports at Media Press. Uh, the second part will be about technical issues of the solution, and this part will be presented by Rafał Fagas who is uh, the main architect of the system at MediaPress. Um, our entire meeting will last approximately one hour, uh, of course, depending also on your activity and the questions uh, we're hoping to get. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the webinar is being recorded and will, um, will be made available to all attendees um, afterwards. All right, so uh, before we start, please uh, let me tell you briefly about Hubert system. Uh, so uh, Hubert system is a powerful solution uh, enabling us and uh, our clients, of course, to aggregate a various uh, kind of metadata. Uh, so of course there are EPG metadata, but not only. We also manage and aggregate other types of data like uh, VOD, OTT, uh, cinema schedules, and, and in fact, any other. Uh, and of course, sports, sports information, sports data and sports metadata, uh, what is, by the way, a main topic of, of this meeting. Mm. The system is driven by artificial intelligence. This is a solution which was developed by ourselves in-house. So uh, the, the service uh, processes uh, the visuals uh, before ingesting them into, into Hubert. Uh, thanks to this, uh, all pictures are uh, automatically analyzed and tagged. Uh, AI service detects a lot of elements of, of photo of pictures. Um, for example, um, could detect or can detect important areas of photo, uh, which is uh, essential, of course, for uh, smart cropping, uh, just to avoid uh, accidentally cutting off uh, the head of the person in the picture. Uh, there are also a lot of other features like um, face detection, people recognition, uh, objects recognition, um, detecting drugs, nudity, violence, and really, really much more. Uh, but that's a long story, not for today. Uh, today we're focusing on, on uh, sports information. As a cloud-based cloud uh, solution, uh, Hubert allows to get the access to the system by 
um, internal editor uh, uh, editor teams, um, I mean company uh, editor teams, as well as uh, external teams, uh, very often uh, multilingual teams, like um, partners, clients, um, freelancers, uh, or whoever. Uh, so all of them can work simultaneously editing the data and photos, uh, in fact, from anywhere on the globe. Um, of course, uh, the access uh, to the system is protected and each user can only get this, get to, to strictly defined resources. So, um, in the result, uh, Huber system is a complex integrated platform for, for aggregating various data and information, editing, combining them with each other, linking them and creating um, products, in fact, which customer wishes. Uh, and on the final stage, the, the, the data, the, this final product can be, of, of course, um, exported, uh, in fact, in, in any format. Uh, <clears throat> Hubert is used uh, by us uh, for providing uh, uh, our uh, sophisticated service uh, to the biggest players in Europe. And the system was developed to meet their uh, very high expectations. Uh, so probably we can say that we built um, the biggest and probably the most powerful system in Europe, maybe in the world, uh, for aggregating, managing and, and distributing the, the metadata. Okay, um, so that was briefly about Hubert system. Now, uh, why Media Press? <clears throat> um, we've been present in the market for, for over 30 years. So um, we can easily say that we are experts in the industry. And we know almost everything about the television and uh, media market and modern media uh, right now. Uh, currently, we hire more than 650 people, uh, including 550 editors and 100 uh, IT professionals. Uh, our editors are located in, in 14 countries um, throughout Europe, uh, in France, in, in Germany, in Switzerland, uh, in Poland, in Hungary. Uh, Croatia, Slovakia, Serbia, uh, Romania, uh, Bulgaria, Lithuania, and in the United States. Uh, so we can say that we can speak in, in, in 30, can speak and of course write in uh, uh, 32 languages. Uh, and uh, thanks to this, we can um, offer um, local editorial support in, in local languages. Uh, to our clients, uh, while uh, our IT infrastructure and IT operations are centralized. Um, as a result, we are able to, to provide the same quality of the service to all of our clients, as well as standardized uh, uh, data structure using uh, MediaPress unique ID technology and, of course, um, providing multilingual, multilingual uh, content. Presently, we process metadata uh, from uh, uh, approximately 7,000 providers. Uh, we have over 11 million uh, visuals and, and photos in our, in our database and about 5 million contents or titles. And of course, uh, the numbers are still, still growing. Uh, <clears throat> data, data coverage. Mm. Probably, I say probably, but in fact, I'm sure uh, that we are number one provider of metadata in Europe. Uh, we cover uh, almost all of Europe with our data. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to this, um, we are, I would say, a perfect partner for big multinational publishers and operators. However, of course, we work also for local partners and clients, uh, and they are equally important to us. Um, MediaPress is, uh, is a proud 
member of the European Metadata Group. This is an uh, association which uh, we created uh, together with our partners uh, to share our knowledge and uh, the standards uh, for the benefit of uh, whole industry uh, throughout Europe. Um, and that's all from my side. Um, thank you for your attention. Uh, now let me pass the voice to Wojtek, who dive into the details of Media Press Enhanced Sports Information Service. Thank you and enjoy the presentation. Uh, Bartos, thank you very much uh, for uh, the word of introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Wojciech Musiał and um, I am the uh, sport team leader. And I'd like to, uh, as I work um, uh, mainly as an editor, uh, I would like to present you the system, not from the technical, but from the editorial point of view, meaning uh, uh, to present you as simple as possible so that you can clearly get the idea of what can be done, what can be built upon the presented structure. Uh, what you see here is the uh, diagram showing that the sport event uh, that we are talking about this might be any sport event, like a football match on a Formula One race or a boxing fight, whatever. This is accompanied with a variety of information that is multi-linked. Everything is linked with everything. That implies uh, a lot of possibles that I'm going to talk about. Uh, what you can see is that um, uh, it is uh, accompanied by the information about players or teams, about the venue of the tournament, of the match, about the tournament within which the match is being played, uh, and the discipline. And also it is accompanied by the graphic side. Uh, all of this is additionally linked to the metadata, which is the main part of media press activity. And, uh, this was the theoretical part. I would like to show you the practical um, advantages of the system by having a look at a very precise example of a match, of a football match between Real Madrid and Chelsea that was played uh, at the beginning of the month. Here you can see the very basic information attached to the event. We know that we've got two teams, Real Madrid and Chelsea. We know which team is the home team, Chelsea, which is the away team, Real Madrid. We know uh, the precise date and hour of the match. Uh, we know where the match uh, is taking uh, place. This is uh, Stamford Bridge in, uh, uh, in London. Additionally, the information is accompanied by logos of the home and away team and if you are talking about not group, but individual sport, this can be also in, accompanied by the photographs of, uh, of the players like uh, Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal in tennis matches, for example. Um, of course, uh, even from this point, when you are a sport fan using uh, the, the app or the program built upon our structure, you can uh, pick any uh, TV channel that is in your uh, receiver to see, to watch the, the, the match. But that's not all. Um, if you look at the event from a broader perspective, uh, you can also see that uh, this match is uh, structured within a given season and stage. So we know that uh, the two teams are playing uh, semi-final game from season 2000-2001, which is the present season. We also know that this match is uh, being played within uh, UEFA Champions League and that this is football, which might be uh, quite obvious information uh, for the football fan. But uh, as I said, everything is linked with everything. So from football, the uh, spectator can easily switch to other disciplines. Before doing that, I'd like to notice that uh, all this information, all this uh, stage, season, tournament and discipline information are described, 
shorter or longer text are uh, attached to uh, every single record. And uh, the texts are not only English, but they are multi-language. Now, when you want to switch from your match to another discipline, there are endless possibilities. You can go to tennis, for example, and check what's going on within the Wimbledon uh, tournament. Uh, you can check the history of Wimbledon, who placed, played against whom in 2012, in what stage. But as the Australian Open is approaching, you can check on which channel you could see Australian Open games. Uh, and that applies to any tournament within the discipline of tennis. That applies to any tournament within motorsport, like Formula One races, Formula E, or MotoGP, if you are a motorbike fans. You can switch to cycling and uh, follow information on Giro d'Italia, Vuelta, or Tour de France, or, in fact, any other discipline. Another aspect of multi-linking of the data is that uh, you can build a kind of a calendar or a reminder uh, to check what's going on within sport. This is a very uh, precise uh, live example of uh, matches or event, sport events that were uh, present in the TV uh, schedules on the 12th of May. And as you can see, uh, you can check um, records for Giro d'Italia, both live and repetitions, US Open, Formula E, uh, handball, Champions League match, and the cycling tour of Hungary. Of course, by simple clicking, you can enter any of those records and check information, detailed informations on it. Uh, you can also follow the structures from another perspective. If you are a fan of Roger Federer, you can follow the path of Roger Federer, not only basic informations like what age is he or from which country is he uh, from, but uh, you can click to his uh, social uh, media accounts and you can follow as well his history. Enter Australian Open and see against whom he was playing in 2004 or 2007 or 2018, whatever. You can go into the future and check uh, the stage group matches for uh, Roger Federer in Wimbledon. Uh, I'm saying stage group because the further stages, of course, depend on who is going to win. Uh, another perspective is uh, coming back to the uh, Real Chelsea match that I was talking about a few minutes ago. Uh, you can pick any country in the world and check when the match is going to be broadcaster. And thus you can, for example, call to your friend from the other side of the ocean and uh, arrange a meeting and watch the, the match together um, via internet, of course. But uh, another advantage is if somehow you missed the live broadcast of the match, you can, by simple clicking, uh, check when you are going to see the repetition on what channel and uh, on what time. You can analyze a record uh, from the perspective of stages. If you are interested in US Open, in this example, you can follow the whole ladder, beginning from uh, the, the, the group phase, of course, which is not seen here, but then you can see uh, who plays against whom in quarterfinals, semifinals, and then in the great final. Uh, in fact, uh, the filtering uh, of the sports data that this system enables uh, is endless. You can pick a discipline, then pick a, a country, then decide whether you want to uh, follow male or female team and just check every event like from uh, rugby in France, male rugby in France in 2021 or whatever year you could pick. Uh, what I'm saying here that uh, this system is very flexible and enables to link everything 
with anything else. So by simple clicking, you can build a lot of different path, paths uh, that enable you to, to follow sport events, uh, sport uh, venues, sport teams, sport players, um, or sport disciplines. Uh, speaking about numbers, uh, right now uh, in our uh, database we've got more than 2 million uh, sport events and uh, over 300 sport disciplines uh, from the most important ones, uh, of course summer and winter, to exotic ones as well. Uh, and. Uh, to sum up uh, this theoretical part of this presentation, uh, I would like uh, to add that um, the platform is uh, ready to use structure uh, that you can not on, uh, that you can use in uh, uh, a few different ways. Uh, you can. Uh, take the results of uh, our editor's work, but you are also allowed to enter or edit your own information within the system. And what's more, uh, the system is ready to adopt or embrace uh, information from uh, external sport data providers. I mean, Sportradar or Heimspiel or Opta. These are firms that uh, describes for on many different ways and uh, thanks to the fact that every event in the structure is followed by the unique id number this um, implementation uh, is not only possible but is an easy step to do and a very reliable one um, the same fact that uh, every uh, record uh, has got his own unique ID implies the multi multilinguality of the system. It means uh, that you, if you are an international broadcaster uh, you, or operator, you may easily uh, adopt the system to any language that you need to use. And the same information, the same record about the Chelsea and the uh, Real Madrid match uh, will be described in uh, English, in German, in French, in Portuguese, in any given language. And last but not least, uh, Rafał uh, Fagas is going to describe it more detailed, but I'd like to indicate that all this, the data that uh, you have seen uh, is accompanied by the graphic side, by photographs and illustrations. And now I would like to invite you to a brief look inside the system so that you can just see how the editors operate on a given uh, sport event. This is the, the, the content selector, uh, part of Hubert, that operates on uh, our sport system. And what you see here are two linked records. The one on the left, this is the EPG from a, uh, that we received from a broadcaster. Uh, this is BT Sport 1 uh, channel. And it describes uh, the, uh, uh, United, uh, the Champions League final that we are going to watch uh, on uh, Saturday, on this Saturday, between Manchester City and Chelsea. And this is the record attached to the EPG from the broadcaster. And uh, I would like to show you uh, what um, parts, uh, what, what does this record consist of? Uh, as I described, we've got the event level. So this is the Man City versus Chelsea. We've got the stage here, which is the final. We've got the season, which is the present season. Then we've got the tournament, which is UEFA Champions League. And we've got the home team, Manchester City, and away team, Chelsea. As you can see, all those records are easily to be modified. It's enough to just open the record tab and enter information. Uh, all this is accompanied also by text. As you can see here, we've got an event text describing the match. We've got a 
base text describing what a Champions League is and uh, to prove you the multi uh, 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 multi language option we've got English but we've got also German we can pick French we can pick um, Italian etc etc and the last tab here is the ID tab so that you can see that every part of this whole big sport event uh, has got a unique number, meaning stage, season, event, tournament, whole away team, etc., etc. And last but not least, please like, take a look at the at the below uh, photographs or, or or title cards. In fact, um, what we have got here are logos of the uh, of Chelsea, logotype of Manchester City, and uh, a title card meaning uh, a graphic design for the match containing both logos and the information about the stage and the and the tournament of the game uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, i think that this is it from my side i hope that you find the system uh, interesting and uh, thank you for your attention now i'm going to um, uh, pass uh, the words to, to Rafał Fakas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Wojciech. Um, let me load my presentation. And good afternoon, everybody. My name is Rafał Fagas. I am the uh, system architect in Media Press for roughly 30 years, so practically from the beginning. And uh, I also am also the uh, designer of the Hubert system, Hubert platform, and co-designer of uh, the sport structure and sport API that we are presenting today. I would like to, um, to, to dive a little bit more into technical details uh, of, this, um, of this functionality, of this service that we provide to our customers. Um, uh, Wojciech already um, described the they described them, them from the high level perspective, and now I'd like to dive a little bit more into technical um, uh, technical stuff. So, um, so uh, well, let's go. Um, first of all, I would like to um, uh, to a little bit rephrase what uh, Bartosz and Wojciech was uh, talking about the Hubert system. Uh, and present the Hubert system, Hubert platform, as a, as a multi-domain uh, content management system. By multi-domain, I understand that uh, this is the system which, uh, uh, which is a, which, in which we are able to very easily define a new, um, uh, new structures of data, not necessarily connected with each, which, with each other and describing the different parts of our reality. Um, of course, we our background comes from TV metadata and, and VOD metadata. That's why it it happened so. Um, it, it it was it was um, mentioned so often during the the previous presentations. But uh, in fact, on Hubert platform, we can have the the TV metadata on Hubert platform as are just a part of the story. Um, right now, uh, we have the uh, we have the the TV, we have the VOD, we have the sport data, we also have the culture data. Uh, so uh, there's a, the number of domain that we have um, in our system, and these domains also include the customer uh, data. Uh, so each each of our customers is, is free to create their own uh, islands of uh, of metadata on on different topics. Um, the um, one of the main um, and, and major feature of the system is that all these contents placed into it can be linked so they can create the multi-level structures uh, very nicely relationally uh, connected uh, where each of them bears its own uh, id which then can be used on the outside to to provide the the id service for, for the for the customers um, but uh, it's worth mentioning that the, the, this, this linking functionality does not, um, does not limit, is not limited to the domain 
um, area. They are also the records from the different domains can be linked together, creating such a multi-domain structure. Um, on top of this, the Hubert platform provides uh, provides our customers with very configurable user interface. Um, thanks to which we are able to hide the complexity of the of the background structure uh, to the editors and to the casual users. Um, you you've seen already how does it look like from the editor's perspective. Now I will show you how this structure be behind the sports data looks like um, in the background. So uh, let's switch to it. This is the main picture. Um, this is the, on the right side, those uh, green blocks are all the elements that uh, the sport data consists of. It all starts from the sports event. So sport event is just the information that something in the area of sport is happening in one point of time. Um, this uh, sport event uh, is, of course, usually the part of some um, some major uh, set of activities. They are rarely isolated events. So this is the part of some tournament and so on. Um, so that's why we have this. Um, that's why we have this. Yeah, this um, this this structures uh, at the top of it. There is a four level classification of the sport event um, getting deeper and deeper into into um, into what this uh, event is part of so first of all of course it's a part of some stage of some season of some tournament and this tournament is also uh, connected to the discipline which is also the separate object and so this this creates a four levels of uh, of classification of course, on each each of this block provides its own unique ID, so they can be uh, they can be queried uh, from different perspective, as as Wojciech mentioned. Um, of course, sport event also happens somewhere. Um, uh, that's why it's connected with the place uh, represented here by a, a arena record. But this can be uh, this can be actual stadium. This can be um, ski jump facility, or it can be tennis court, or any any other um, area. It contains all the properties of the place where the um, uh, the sport activity is taking place. And of course, there are people taking part in the sport event. So in case of uh, team sports, we have a possibility to link the event uh, with the um, with the teams of players. Uh, in um, uh, when when we are talking of non-team sports, we are able to provide the number of of particular players, the human beings uh, taking um, uh, taking place, taking part in the in the event. Of course, uh, the sport event also the, con the sport event. This this sorry, the sport team um consists of a number of people so it the, the, the sport team has a has a squad has uh, has a kind of a squad and the squad is connected to the season as well because it can change between the season and of course a squad also is um, is uh, contains the number of players so there's a structure describing the persons um involved in a, an event and, and this is the sport uh, side of the story. Um, Wojciech was talking about the sport always in the context of uh, the uh, of the TV or EPG or VOD emissions. So um, I would like to uh, to uh, to somehow expand on this topic that uh, this uh, sport event um, does not necessarily. Uh, is not necessarily linked to the sport, uh, to the TV emission or or, or VOD emission somewhere. Uh, it can be also it can be also a sport event which is not transmitted anywhere. So um, uh, so this link with the with the TV data, which is done of course, so this is the link between two domains, the domain of the TV and domain of the sport, is optional, which um, which of course somehow expands the number of available sport events also to those who are, which are not uh, transmitted but uh, for example are taking place in some area uh, which which can be important for for local 
uh, for local applications. Um, so let's uh, dive a little bit more about uh, in, in what these uh, multi-level structures really mean uh, on each element on each level of this of this uh, of blocks uh, connected together we are able to add additional metadata uh, the metadata which uh, um, which describes this 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 uh, specific part of the um, of the structure uh, on each also on each level we can add uh, the photos or uh, visuals or key uh, key arts or any other things that are connected with the uh, with the tournament with the stage of the tournaments with the season or with a team venue or whatever and this one this one uh, applies to each of this uh, of these aspects of the, um, the sports structures for example, in case of venues, we can have the information about the geographical location, city, uh, the country, the capacity of the venue, uh, some nice photos of the venue and from different perspective, uh, some history, whatever, everything that is that is related to, to the venue. And this is relationally connected to every competition that, that takes place uh, in this particular spot. Uh, the uh, this was uh, this was briefly mentioned by uh, Wojtek, but um, the, uh, the 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 Hubert begins with the hub, so um, so it, it really can be a hub co collecting and concentrating the information from a different sources. Uh, this is also the case with the sport data. Uh, because there's a, there is a, there is a major problem in um, when 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 we are talking about the uh, the provider of the sport data that each of them um, specializes either in some disciplines or in some area geographical area and the, each of them has has um, has stronger and weaker spots in the coverage. Uh, that's why one of the idea behind the sport uh, API was to create the the mechanism to concentrate to 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 somehow collect and integrate data from the multiple providers uh, in multiple languages uh, and thus create kind of synergy of them uh, so uh, we can have the 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 data from opta or from highspiel or sport radar each of them is collected into one ID under Sport API. Sport API. On top of this, our editors, guided by Wojciech, um, can add additional information uh, about the this sport event. Plus, they can provide the link to the to the TV data or VOD data. And uh, and then the the customer on the output side is free to decide uh, from which provider the data are suitable for him. So there's a, there's a complete flexibility. Uh, the 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 customer can can just pick and choose. So well, I would like this field from Opta and this field from Sport Radar, for example. Okay, um, and now for a graphical parts, um, also briefly mentioned by Wojciech, they we have the possibility to create title cards or posters or how you would like to to call them. So um, it's it's uh, quite common um, among our customers to have a need for some backgrounds of the events, either to present on their set top boxes, either to present as a as a background of the application or any other services service they provide. They would like to have um, kind of posters for for events, for tournaments, possibly even for venues and so on. Uh, Hubert contains the uh, the special uh, the specialized module for creating the the title cards like this. It is used not only for sports, of course, but also, for example, for uh, for TV data or for VOD services. Um, but in this case, we will be talking about this um, uh, the, the the sport um, application of this. Um, the title cards can be either created semi automatically by using the tool which is included or they can be created fully automatically which is the case um, of the sport api all those 
um, all those title cards uh, Wojciech has shown you were created automatically. And how uh, how does it uh, how does it work? Uh, thanks to this uh, to this multi-level structure, we are able to have um, some key some graphical elements uh, hanged on a different levels of this structure. Yeah, so we can have the uh, log uh, the teams uh, the, the the logos of the teams on a on a team level. We can have the uh, nice background. Uh, with a photograph with a with a photo of uh, venue on the venue level we can have a generic uh, discipline photos on a discipline level uh, and also we can have some key arts connected with the with the stages of competition of season or the whole tournament uh, having all of this uh, system using uh, preferences of the customer is able to generate automatically the uh, nicely looking um, uh, sport posters like those on the on on the, on the um, bottom of the slide. For example, this this one is um, this is one is connected only with the tournament, so it only has the background um, taken from the discipline, the logo of the tournament, and the description. This one is 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 the event. Um, a poster, so it has the um, the photo of the venue at the, in the background, the um, tournament le tournament logo at the top, and the logos of the um, of the teams uh, placed uh, up in the opposite sides. This one is is very similar, but the discipline is different, so the background is also different automatically. And now I can I can show you some some examples of the automatically generated um, title cards. For example, this one is a competition which is um, uh, which includes the national teams. That's why we are not having here the um, the logos of the um, of the teams. We are having the flags of the countries and also the names of the countries. This one. Of course, includes the logos of the of the teams. This one is from a different uh, discipline. This one is from baseball. In case of uh, non-team uh, sports, we can also have the um, the um, photos of the players, maybe even cut out nicely like this one. And uh, in case we are we do not have the logos or we are not able to find out the the portraits of the uh, um, of the the players, we can also use some kind of uh, well fallback without this 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 graphic. And of course, uh, just just the information about the the uh, the tournament. So this is a nice uh, background for a tournament level. The layout of this uh, of this sport um, uh, title cards uh, is of course um, flexible, so the customer can have their own idea where and how these elements should be placed together. But uh, the, there is a, the whole system beneath that is able to to get the the, the elements connected to each of this um, of these levels and uh, put and construct out of them nicely looking and uh, fancy um, um, title cards. Okay, so uh, last but not least, um, you can be also interested on, in how this uh, data that is um, collected in Hubert and, and uh, processed in Hubert can be presented to you. Um, so how can you can access to this uh, to this data um, um, to use them in your products um, so uh, on the left side we have a hubert with all this uh, all this data with all possible domains of the data and uh, to uh, to expose the data to the outside world we are using the um, uh, the module of hubert which is called oxana it's oxana export engine uh, uh, where we, we can define the different perspective on this data uh, for export to you. So depending on, on what what are your what your needs are, we can, um, for example, present uh, the TV data which is enhanced with sport data. So you will be get, getting the regular TV export, but the sport um, events in the TV program will be ad additionally enriched with the data from the sport API. Uh, 
we can use, for example, the, um, the, the other perspective and export the sport data with some additional information about where this data can be um, seen in a TV or VOD services. We can export just sport data. In fact, we can export the, uh, any, the, um, any information stored in Hubert and, and from any domain linked together and mixed together uh, and produce uh, and produced by this definition, the, the standard Oxana JSON containing this, this all information. Uh, then there is a layer which is optional, of course, because you can use just the standard Oxana JSON. It's quite nicely documented and, um, and uh, I, th I suppose easy to use and quite powerful. And, but uh, if you already have a, a system which uses the particular format of data, we can apply the custom formatting for you. So translate this JSON into XML in your format or any other format um, possible. Um, and then uh, this, um, this process data can be delivered in two general two ways. It can be delivered as an ex incremental e uh, file export. So we will be for each change in the data, we will generate the JSON or other file with information about the change. And this stream of files can be delivered to you via FTP or cloud uh, account or, or any other um, um, uh, delivery system. Uh, on the other side, uh, there is a possibility to have the uh, kind of staging database that will be collecting all these uh, incremental changes and uh, which will be backend of the API that you are uh, that you will be able to query and um, and get the information either in a in a just a query way or in also in an incremental way. Um, so you can have the stream of changes, or you can have the uh, the you can have the query possibility. This also uh, I was talking about the photos uh, previously. So this also um, is um, this also applies to photos. Uh, Oxana also exports the photos. It, it prepares it to to um, it prepares them technically according to the customer needs. Uh, so it can scale the photos, it can crop the photos or do any, any other things um, and export them, for example, to the FTP account as a set of files or to the cloud Azure, um, to Azure cloud as, as some kind of, of storage. So these are the options uh, that we, we have um, for, for delivering this data and delivering this data from Huber to the outside world. Of course, well, we are flexible. So if you are able to, um, uh, to, to persuade our business layer to provide you a special way of delivery, we are open. And uh, well, the, the time is running out slowly. I would like to, to, um, to leave some uh, time for, um, for answering the questions as well. So I will just switch to the final slide. And thank you very much for your attention. Here you have the information on how, how to connect, how to contact us. And um, well, thank you very much. I return my, um, I return the stage to Bartosz then. Okay, thank you, Rafał. Great presentation as always. Mm. So yes, indeed, we received a, a, a few questions. So um, I, I will read them and please guys, you decide who will answer, all right? So what is the actual functionality of the system compared to what we have just seen? I guess that's to Wojciech. Yes, yes, I think this is to me. Uh, uh, well, I, when I was thinking about answering this question, uh, a metaphor came to my mind. Um, if you remember Star Wars and the Death Star, the Death Star was uh, at the same time still uh, under construction, and yet it was fully functional. Of course, the, the main difference is the Death Star was created to destroy, and we are uh, we created our system uh, to create to 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 add new uh, possibilities. So, um, speaking shortly, uh, the system is still being developed, and yet um, it uh, uh, is ready 
to operate uh, uh, on whenever data are delivered uh, within inside uh, or from outside from uh, from external uh, providers um, including our customers as well not only those sports data uh, companies like like uh, Heispiel or Opta but also uh, our clients who can who could uh, deliver their own data and uh, edit them modify them as well the second one is probably to you, Rafa. Yeah, so this, the question is, if we upload our own photos or texts, will they be visible accessor, accessible only to us? Um, yes, this Death Star is uh, designed uh, with sharing in mind. Uh, and with uh, on one side with the sharing in mind and uh, on the other side with, this, uh, with the isolation in mind. So uh, um, the... As, as a Hubert's, Hubert platform is designed as a, as a cloud platform, it uh, it provides the, the very very strict and powerful mechanism for uh, separation of the assets uh, uploaded by the customers. Because well, natural naturally in a cloud environment, we are using the same database, we are using the same system uh, for multiple customers. So uh, there are numerous uh, opportunities uh, to um to to keep your data private uh, but if you want to if you have a business agreement with other customer on on the hubert platform you can also share uh, your the data created by you or the download uploaded by you with, uh, with with other customer with other party mm -hmm. another one uh, according to what we have seen in presentation do you plan to provide any real time sports updates that's a good question mm -hmm. i think uh, yeah and i think the answer is the we we haven't had the business case yet but as far as as i know the our uh, our management is uh, is open to uh, to partnership in this area so if if there's any there is a need uh, we can think of of expanding our our data also to include the um, the real time um, uh, sports updates of course, if there is a need and a budget for that. Uh, however, now at the moment we are ready, of course, to integrate with uh, um, external uh, specialized service um, which which deal with this uh, real-time uh, update. So I think that that's also as could be also a solution. All right, uh, customer add his own metadata or photos to the sport API and get it back in this export. Ah, can a customer? Mm -hmm. So, is it possible? Yeah, of course. Um, it's 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 quite related to the previous question. Um, the data from perspective of the customer can be expanded. So the a customer can build on a structure that uh, our API provides and add their own fields, add their own blocks linked together, and also uh, upload, the, uh, upload the assets, photos, um, short videos or, uh, or, or documents uh, with all these um, features while well, providing the privacy of the data. Uh, this option of modifying records by editors from outside, could you develop this? Uh, yes, yes. I, I think that uh, I will answer this question uh, and uh, again share the screen so that I can mm -hmm. give you uh, the idea again. Um, uh, I hope you can see the screen. Uh, <coughs> no, we can't. Oh, sorry. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Uh, so again, coming back to this uh, Manchester City versus Chelsea uh, final of uh, Champions League, uh, as I showed you, um, anything can be added to any uh, part of this structure, this four element structure that Rafał uh, was talking about, meaning event stage season tournament. Um, here is the place uh, to either put an external um, uh, provider's data or data that are built either by the uh, media press uh, editors or by any outside editors, meaning you, 
our clients. So uh, the question, uh, the answer is, uh, you can create such a record uh, on your own t uh, terms, uh, mm, uh, meaning uh, you can attach your own photos, you can attach your own descriptions, uh, you can use any given language that you uh, are in need of, and um, just create the record from the very beginning to the very end, or you can, as I said, you can also uh, use um, our work, the work of uh, media press editors that have created the record uh, before and just developed the created one. By the way, um, I think that this is a very good example. The next record is a very good example of what our system can do. Um, if you see on the left side on this, of the screen is the, again the metadata delivered by the Sky Sports one channel this time and if you could see here what they described here is just f the final match in porto of the of the football champions league but we what we are missing here are in fact the most important thing who is going to play against whom they are missing uh, manchester city and uh, and chelsea so what i do now is um uh, let me copy the name of the event open the search tab a few simple uh, moves find the record uh, we've got two but one is for premier league and the one is for uh, uefa champions league and uh, attach the link and now we are exporting to our clients not the um, uh, informate not only the information from the broadcaster but the whole cluster of informations uh, with unified names of teams with descriptions with unified names of the stage of the tournament etc etc uh, i hope i answered the question <laughs> thank you and the last one is uh, are you planning to build a separate app for sports fans so i think that i could answer to this question Mm, no, uh, we are not going to build uh, the application for for sport fans because uh, our rule is not to compete uh, to our uh, to our clients. Uh, so of course we can provide our our clients with all information and all data we have or we could have, um, and we can help to build a, a platform or application for uh, for end users. Uh, but at the moment, and uh, I believe that uh, it will be also tomorrow and <laughs> always, uh, we work in B2B, so, so that's, that's not our target, our market. So it's, it's very interesting and uh, certainly we could build such an application, but that's not, uh, not uh, in our range. But of course, as I said, we, we have uh, probably a lot of puzzles uh, which can be used in an, in an application like that. And we can provide them, of course. So, <clears throat> we are two minutes before time. So, uh, no more questions, as I can see. So, thank you again. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Uh, for participating, uh, please stay in touch. If you have any questions, please contact us and uh, have a nice afternoon and the rest of the week. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye.